What's happening, AFC Predict? It's your boy Simon here with a Cardiff review. I think the most annoying thing about the game is that I didn't get the chance to do my prediction. And I actually told um, a friend that I was with the night before that I felt the game would be 3-2, just based on the fact that I felt we would score goals and I felt we would concede goals. I just had a 3-2 prediction in my head. And lo and behold, that's what happened. And you could probably think I'm just talking garbage now because, like, <laughs> it's, the aftermath is here. The game's already finished 3-2. But um, the game itself was... Um, I don't think there was too many surprises in it, really, for the way things are going. Um, I liked what we did, though, when we did have possession. So when the ball did get played out the back, I think there was one move in the first 10 minutes before Mustafi scored. And I think there was about nearly 20 passes put together and the players are learning that you're going to have to be patient when you've got possession even if it's like going to take five minutes to break break a team down and get a shot if you don't have the ball you get more tired just chasing it around you're less tired when you have the ball so possession sometimes people say it's an overrated stat it's depending on what you're doing with that possession if you're working the team really the opposition really really hard they're going to struggle to keep that intensity up for the whole game so i'm quite impressed with what we're trying in that sense in t in terms of trying to wear a team down um and going forward we i think i think at times we look electric you know the interplay's really nice you know especially for that second goal it was you know it was very Henri esque and it was a, very, a nice flick from lacazette who i thought was absolutely brilliant by the way a real focal point. He's only what five foot eight, five foot nine, but he looks strong when the ball when when he's on the pitch. The ball goes into someone. It's held. Abamyang, his game at the moment is all about making runs off the ball or getting on the end of things, and you need a focal point. And sometimes we've lacked that um, in the first few games. But like I said, I think he's been brilliant. He's it's a definitely a plus to have him in the side. And going forward, I think there's just a lot to be positive about. I think there's going to be some um, there's going to be goals scored. You know. You take the Man City game out of it and we've scored, what, um, bear with me, six goals, eight, eight goals in three games, you know, eight goals in the last three games. And that's something to be very positive about. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. The defensive side of things, I feel like I'm saying it again, but I know I'm not the only one saying it. So I don't feel like an absolute C-U-N, you know what that word is, for saying it. Granit Xhaka is just not the guy to play in that position. I think the whole defensive structure, it really, for me, relies on Torreira. And if anyone's going to tell me that Torreira didn't make a massive difference to how we were on Sunday and in all the games he's played, to be fair, then I would literally sit there and say, well, you're deluded and you should stop eating so many fruit pastels. Like, he is literally the reason why this formation can work. He will be the one. When, when Czech gets the ball and... Socrates are giving him the ball at a bad angle. When he's looking to play it forward, Torreira will be there. That's exactly what he does for Uruguay. He picks it off the goalkeeper. We don't have Granit Xhaka coming and doing that. Um, Guendouzi's not doing that for whatever reason. And yeah, Czech can just kick it long. Yeah, you know, for F's sake, sometimes just kick it long when you're in a situation where you've taken more than two touches. Just kick it long. Even though Mustafi's, you know, making the angle for him, he still needs to get used to that check. But Torreira is the guy that will make this formation work. He is the key for me. To, he's a glue that will start to make us tick. So because of the next few fixtures we've got, especially September and October, we don't actually play what you call a big side in, um, in any competition, unless we get drawn against someone in the Carabao Cup, should we get past Brentford. We don't play any really big sides until Liverpool at the start of November. This is the time. If there's ever a time to try the formation out with Torreira there and try and get a real understanding in games and be positive in terms of the results, in terms of getting goals scored and trying to keep clean sheets or at least not conceding more than one goal, then I think by the time we get to Liverpool, we might have something special on our hands. So I'm actually very encouraged by what I've seen. So I'm happy the international break's here and we can regroup and go again uh, on Geordie Land and... I'm expect I'm expecting more and more as um, as the weeks kick on. Um, I just think as a defensive unit, you you need the right players in the right positions. 
there's only 11 men on the field. Each person has to do their job. For me, jack it out of the team. Definitely to where we're in.